Lisa Day is a quiet, reserved person. She's an astute listener who offers thoughtful questions and then clarifies and extends the answers that students give. In her classes and in clinical, students are actively engaged. She sets a tone that is at once concerned, serious, but also comfortable and accepting of exploration. You know, when I think about how I prepare for class, I think the hardest part is really getting the preparation right mm -hmm. and thinking through the case and thinking, where do I want the student, where do I want to take the students with this story mm -hmm. that I'm going to tell about this patient? Mm -hmm. How do I want to construct the story? How do I want it to develop? Mm -hmm. What's the narrative arc I want to develop? Lisa Day is a 70-year-old who was brought to the emergency department by his daughter four hours ago. She had been ill with an over-respiratory infection and cough, and today she found him at home. She has been closed home. What also captivated our interest as observers of your teaching is that there were a lot of nursing domain-specific strategies that you were using, and we thought the unfolding case was one. We also uh, thought that you did a great job of teaching for uh, enhancing their imagination in, in what, how they responded, uh, how they understood what was at stake for the patient. packing all the content and then giving a lecture and then my interaction with students would be me asking them a question and them answering the question mm -hmm. and then we move on. And what I realized what I was really accomplishing with that kind of teaching is getting them really good at taking multiple choice tests. Right. And I thought, well, wait a minute, that's not really what I want to accomplish here. I want them to be good nurses. Right, right.